Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's parenting style explained. Ever since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle tied the knot, fans knew these two were going to be a great team. Indeed, Harry's sensitive and caring side, coupled with Meghan's feminism and strength, has made for a complementary relationship. Their team dynamic has become clear as the couple navigated the rules and responsibilities of royal life, a relentless global spotlight, and the challenges of parenthood. As they settle into their roles as a mother and father, to Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, followers are also beginning to understand what kind of parenting style the Duke and Duchess of Sussex might follow. From the start, Prince Harry made it clear he wouldn't stand anyone, particularly the press, attacking his wife or child, suggesting that he was going to be a protective papa bear. He said, My wife has become one of the latest victims of a British tabloid press that wages campaigns against individuals with no thought to the consequences, a ruthless campaign that has escalated over the past year, throughout her pregnancy, and while raising our newborn son, I lost my mother and now I watch my wife falling victim to the same powerful forces. Since then, these famous parents have made some bold decisions for their family. Let's take a closer look. Meghan and Harry are protective of their son's privacy. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have made it clear that they want their son, Archie, to enjoy some peace and quiet. Perhaps because the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been afforded so little privacy, they've made it a point to try to carve out some boundaries for their son. In fact, that reportedly played a role in the couple's decision to step away from royal duties and relocate across the pond. Harry wanted to shield his son from the negativity and tension he would have been exposed to back in England, an insider source told LMT Channel, adding that Harry knows what it's like to grow up in the spotlight and he wants to give Archie the most normal upbringing possible. The pursuit of a private life has been a common theme in the decisions Meghan and Harry have made since Archie was born on May 6, 2019. Court documents have revealed that Meghan allegedly did not feel supported by the rest of the royals during her pregnancy, which may be why she and Harry initially chose to keep the location of Archie's birth private. They also didn't reveal much about their son's godparents or his christening, and they even refrained from giving Archie a royal title. The couple's most groundbreaking move was Meg's it, Meghan, and Harry's decision to leave the firm and relocate to Los Angeles. Meghan and Harry's parenting style is rooted in family. Though Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had stepped away from royal duties in the United Kingdom and moved to the United States, they have established a parenting style focused on their family's roots, albeit in what appears to be a highly selected fashion. Prince Harry reportedly kept a framed photo of his late mother, Princess Diana, in Archie's nursery at Frogmore Cottage in England. When the family moved to Los Angeles, Meghan's mother became a steady presence in her grandson's life. An insider said, Doria Ragland continues to live with Meghan, Harry and Archie. This has been the most time she has spent with her grandson since he was born. Even though the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are now far away from the rest of the royal family, they did reportedly coordinate opportunities for Archie to bond with the British branches of his family tree spending time with his great-grandmother Elizabeth, you know, the Queen of England, Uncle William and Aunt Kate, cousins George, Charlotte and Louis, and other royal relatives. Meghan and Harry are raising Archie clean and green. Mo Archie is a blue blood. His parents are reportedly focused on a green lifestyle for the little royal. Meghan's Markle's friend, makeup artist, Daniel Martin said, I'm sure the baby's going to be raised clean and green. She loves to cook, eating organic whenever she can. I totally see her making her own food. Totally. Archie's grandmother, 
Dory O'Ragland, has also been pitching in to help make Archie's all organic meals. Megan also makes sure their son gets his daily dose of Mother Nature. Megan takes Archie on long walks through the woods every day. May Source said, She either pushes him in a stroller through the paved trails through the public woods by their home, or straps him on and walks the more rustic routes. Prince Harry also joins in their nature expeditions from time to time. In fact, the family of three took a trip to South Africa when Archie was just four months old, and the itinerary focused on mental health and environmental advocacy. Archie even met human rights advocate Desmond Tutu during the trip. When asked about parenthood, Megan said, It's magic. It's pretty amazing. I have the best two guys in the world, so I'm really happy. The couple is clearly finding its parenting style, and we're excited to continue witnessing the journey. Another analysis. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were jealous of William and Kate getting the best official roles and felt cut adrift by the royal family and viper courtiers, who considered them the squeaky third wheel, sensational finding freedom biography claims. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were frustrated that William and Kate got all the best official roles and felt cut adrift from the royal family and viper courtiers, the sensational new Finding Freedom biography has claimed. Extracts of the hotly anticipated book are being serialized this weekend in the Times and Sunday Times, and will lift the lid on the Sussex's exit from the firm. In the first release last night, it was revealed that Prince Harry and Meghan were upset they had to take a back seat to other family members such as Prince William and Prince Charles who were given priority for their own projects. The explosive new biography also disclosed that Harry and Meghan say they were forced out of the royal family and its senior members failed to protect them. In a tearful remark to a friend, the Duchess of Sussex claimed she gave up her entire life for this family and then had no choice but to quit. The claims are made in a book about the couple, which the authors say they wrote with the participation of those closest to the couple, including members of Harry and Meghan's inner circle, written by two journalists who have made no secret of their admiration for the couple, Finding Freedom charts the Sussexes did her exit from the monarchy and the UK. It is published next month. According to the writers, Omid Scabby and Carolyn Durand, the infighting and suspicion over the couple's royal role and desire to break free from the straitjacket of royal life became so bad that Harry believed he was then blocked from seeing his grandmother, the Queen. In other explosive revelations revealed in the excerpts last night, after being told that she wouldn't be available to speak to him until January 29th, he even considered making a detour to Sandringham from Heathrow Airport with his wife to plead their case. He had touched down briefly in the UK after spending Christmas in Canada with baby son, Archie. He is said to believe the problems were down to senior courtiers in other royal households, the so-called men in grey suits, who were intent on reining in the couple's popularity, which they feared would outshine other senior royals, a friend of the couple apparently describes the palace old guard as the vipers laying bare Harry and Meghan's contempt and distrust. The book acknowledges that the couple's decision to keep everyone in the dark over their plans to quit royal duties and move abroad created a lot of ill will in the household and especially in the family. But it says that Harry and Meghan didn't feel they had a choice. It says Harry felt that palace officials simply didn't like Meghan and would stop at nothing to make her life difficult. The book says, He felt, used for their popularity, the biography will lay bare the pressure cooker of anger and resentment the couple felt as working royals. The book also claims the couples hardly spoke at the Commonwealth Service at Westminster Abbey despite not having seen each other since January. The book's authors 
Omid Stavi and Carolyn Durand, said, Although Meghan tried to make eye contact with Kate, the Duchess barely acknowledged her. Mr. Spavi told the Times, To purposefully snub your sister-in-law, I don't think it left a great taste in the couple's mouths. The book adds that Harry and Meghan liked being in control of their narrative in the early days of their marriage. Meanwhile, the book claims that Prince Harry, not Meghan, was the one who wanted to distance themselves from public life and he craved an existence away from the media. A source close to the couple said in the book, Fundamentally, Harry wanted out. Deep down, he was always struggling within that world. She's opened the door for him on that. A spokesman for Harry and Meghan said the couple did not contribute to the book, but he did not deny the content of the Times' extracts. The spokesman said, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not interviewed and did not contribute to finding freedom. Insiders told The Telegraph that even before Prince Harry met Meghan in 2016, there were tensions between the brothers. A source said, It wasn't a rivalry between the brothers, but more a sense that they would be competing over who would lead on their various issues. Harry felt awkward as a plus one. They turn up at premieres, and there was this sense that he felt a bit like a spare part. Long before Meghan, he wanted to change things. He wanted to control his own narrative. He would say, why can't we use social media or record videos and cut out the press? The tensions were exacerbated after William is claimed to have taken his younger brother to one set and asked him, Are you sure about this? After the Harry asked Meghan to marry him, Buckingham Palace fear the book will destroy any hope of Harry and Meghan repairing their relationships with the rest of the royal family. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.